Well, I'd, I'd hate to miss the train. Selden, going to? Aren't you staying for supper? No. When people crowd their rooms so that you can't get near anyone you wish to speak to, I'd sooner do without. My wife was right to stay away. She says life is too short to spend it in breaking new people in. Thank you. Gus Trenner, you say? Aunt Paniston, of course I don't mean... Then what do you mean, Grace? Do people say he's in love with her? People always say unpleasant things. It is a pity, though, that Lily makes herself so conspicuous. Conspicuous? Does he mean to divorce, then marry her? No, it's... It's a flirtation, nothing more. A flirtation? With a married man? Such things were never heard of in my day. Here, Lily. Judy and I have been in town for weeks. When am I going to see you? You can find me any afternoon at my aunt's. Come see me there and we can have a quiet talk. You put me off with that at the Van Osburgh wedding. The plain truth is, now that you've got what you wanted, you'd rather not see me. Don't be foolish, Gus. If you want to see me, you can come to my aunt's. What else is being said? That Gus Trenner pays her bills. Rubbish. Lily has her own income, and I provide for her very handsomely. There are her gambling debts. What do you mean? She plays bridge. Who told you that my niece plays cards for money? Mrs. Grice told me herself that it was Lily's gambling debts that frightened Percy. In fact, people are inclined to excuse her on that account. To excuse her? For what? For accepting the attentions of men like Gus Trenner. Thank you for telling me, Grace. But I must say this unwelcome information has completely ruined the Mozart for me. Lily, let's leave before the first act starts. Judy's as cross as two sticks when she's away from Bellamont. Come to the house now. Is Judy unwell? Well, a visit from you might be just what's needed. Very well, Gus. I shall come with you. <laughs> 